Oh, I forgot to share the church. <laughs> under, under the chapel of the Grand Cemetery of El Toro, the young cobalt Tatian stands in shock. As the individual that she knew as Elsaf has disappeared in a sparkle of what seems to be fairy dust. Considering the repercussions of their actions. What was presumed to be for the sake of her companions may just come at their detriment. As this five-headed beast that was once bound is now freed. And they are still in Avernus. As her companions follow her out of the room, the swift patter of their footsteps echo in the chamber that they are in. You all see Tatian just standing, um, seemingly staring in front of nothing. What would you like to do? Taters? Taters! I'm... We're still running up behind Taters because they ran really fast. Um, Tatian sits down and just chugs a health potion like it's a beer. <laughs> Did the uh, Elsaf guy come back with her, or did we see him run back last time? I I need a memory. Um, you saw Elsaf. Um, you saw Elsaf. Um, appear. Um, out of the portal. Um. And you saw him exit the room, but you did not. Um. But once, uh, Tatian came back. Um. She ran after him out of the room, but you don't see him here now. See, y'all, you see, y'all was trying to leave the portal, and I was saying that we should stay to make sure that they came back. Y'all was trying to talk about leaving. See, this is why you don't leave people behind. They just, you know, I knew they'd be safe. So, what happened? I, I did a did a bad bad thing. What did you turn Elsa into? What? He was all blue when he came out. You didn't you didn't see him you didn't see him turn blue. Oh. Uh, but you did see him in a rush. Okay. Do you know, um, uh, t t Tiamat? Not personally. Do we know Tiamat? Do I do? Can I roll for that? Um, I th you've heard of Tiamat, but um, I uh, you can do a history roll, um, maybe a religion, either a history check or a religion check. <laughs> Okay. So I'll just be a, a, a DC 10 on either of those. Uh, give me a second. Yeah. Um, so, Johan, you especially know um, that many of the chromatic dragons um, worship Tiamat um, as their goddess. Um, and particularly, they, uh, 
you particularly know that many have said that she has been silent for um, well over um, uh, well over two millennia. I got a three. So the name escapes. Me. Yeah, you 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 simply so you Malachi have simply heard of Tiamat. You've heard story. You may have heard it in a story here or there. Is that some type of food or something? No, she's she's like the sky pony. She's no bueno. Hmm. A, t- a big t- sky pony. T- t- Tiamat. A five headed sky pony. She's she's. <laughs> Uh, awake. She's awake. Eventually, all the Raven Guard, um, he follows you all out of the room. Um, he was not as quick to run after, um, the young Tatian. Um, but he indeed wants to know what is going on as he runs out. She's awake. Who's awake? Tiamat is is awake. Bloody hells! Well, is she nice? Did you did she wake up being cranky? Like you know, you know, sometimes you wake up being cranky. She's going to destroy everything. It's my it's my fault. I did I did did a bad thing. What do you mean by everything? That's a good question, especially since if we're in hells. I wouldn't mind this place being destroyed myself. Exactly. You all are included in the the everything. So long as we're here, um, Elder Raven God says as he lifts the um, as he lifts the the helm of Termsite, um up, and he just kind of like looks at it um, as he says that. Um, eventually Lulu, um, your holophant friend, uh, flies out of the, um, the room as, flies out of that chamber as well. Um, and she just flies up to you, Tatian, um, and she's just kind of, she kind of, she's like, she's like frantically putting her trunk on, um, about your face. And she's like, oh my gosh, Tatian, are you all right? Did it hurt you? Did you have to fight it? What'd you do? Did you kill it? Did you kill it? I think, <laughs> I think at this point, Tatian just like kind of instinctively goes into this like meditative state, like think like Avatar: The Last Airbender, where he's just like non-responsive, is just there. Oh my gosh! They stole her soul, Malachi. I need to. I need five good berries, very quick. <laughs> I, uh, have that line, seen- can you start a fire? Oh my gosh! You can't start fires anymore, can you? Oh my goodness! Wait, wait. Have we seen? Does anyone know how to start talk? a fire? I can start a fire. I can start a fire. We're fine. I, I think we've seen Tati meditate before, right? like in like going to a meditative state before. Um, not like this. Okay. Well, you know, I'll start. It's capable fire. of being still. Yeah, I'll start. I'll start a fire. Yeah. You know? And get some good berries going. Oh, uh, weren't we going to go up to uh, the refuge and talk to the or reunite uh, with uh, the people there? Uh, I believe that was the plan. Yes. Um. Elder Ravenguard interjects and he says, I 
I feel like this is a bit more of a fortified position. I'd rather not be out in the open. Last I recall, there were demons and devils running about up there. That's true. We should... Oh, do you suggest um, that we, well, that we wanna... bring all the women and children over here? Well, before we, before we trek across this land, I think it might be best if we were going to, for whatever may come, they are safe where they are. If you've met them, it means that they are still okay. Then why wouldn't we be safe going there? We there still have to giant... travel. We still have to travel across a city. No, no, they're just like right upstairs. Where they? There no, is a giant... no, no, they're there... not. They're they're like halfway across the city. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. I also want to remind you. Yeah, because you guys, you guys are in the Grand Cemetery right now. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys are in the Grand Cemetery. They're in the the Great Hall, which is like at the center, of, you know, of the city. Yeah, and I also want to remind y'all that uh, we kind of made a, a, a sky room, a sky port out of that Great Hall. Like the floor was caved in because of some of our shenanigans. Uh, we made nothing. Uh, I believe the the devil made made that hole. We uh, just happened to, you know. Stop it up, I guess. Ah, uh, semantics. Potato, potato. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we kind of, we kind of gave, we kind of gave that building a new center. You know. So what is that portal doing now that Tati and, and Elsath have been out of it for a while? Did it go away? Um, it's still there. It, it is still there. It has changed color, but it is still there. I. I feel like we should rest before we start going everywhere because we are all looking very beat up. I don't disagree, but is this a good place? Because more minotaurs can just come out of that portal, can't they? Like I mean, maybe they we have... don't camp in the middle of danger. If I, it's it's up to you guys. Yeah, we should find another location and get some rest. Uh, lead on. I will scout ahead. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, it's been so long. Like, I literally don't remember what this map looks like. I'm pretty sure we've seen a lot of it already. You have. Yeah, uh, you have. Um, um, I grab a torch. I do um, druid craft on the torch so that it will light. And then I will scout ahead. Well, yeah, like this this room here. Uh, I don't know. We, if there's a way we can block off this hallway, at least that'll... Uh, or set an alarm so that if uh, Minotaur does come out, we'll, we'll know it before he's right on us. Yeah, I mean, I think there's, there's plenty of kind of... There are plenty of tables and things like that throughout the... Um, throughout the, the crypt here that you could probably create a barricade of some kind. Okay. Or, yeah. or just yeah, yeah, like yeah. a table with a little bell on a string so that if they push it out of the way, at least we hear them coming. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah, they'll, right. uh, oh. they'll, they'll ring the bell before they come in. To... Exactly. <laughs> Wait, do you... <laughs> Lawrence, do you have the alarm spell? I do not have the alarm spell. Okay. Why, why don't you have the alarm spell? Because I'm a ranger, and rangers don't need the alarm spell. <laughs> rangers are like one of the few classes that get the alarm spell, aren't they? No. I think only like wizards get it. Huh? That can't be true, because I've never played a wizard, and I've definitely had the alarm spell. I, hold on, hold on. Do, uh, I'm looking at... I'm looking in my spells. Nope, Ranger does not get the alarm spell. Nope, yes they do. Never mind, they do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. The <laughs> Ranger is <laughs> spell ever. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. I was wrong. Uh, I I cannot read. I am sorry. Carry on. <laughs> who, who, who are you gonna trust? The one who's actually a Ranger or the one who knows the rules? <laughs> <laughs> The person who knows rules. 
so um if you guys are if you guys are setting up um it, it'll probably take you about like um 40 minutes or so to uh kind of like set a barricade set um some sort of alarm um on that hall um but then after that you can um yeah you can go into your long rest i like the sound of a long rest yes and I can do a long rest, and I can change my spell so I can get an alarm next time. <laughs> <laughs> now we don't need it. Just kidding. Well, <laughs> like a year from now, when we get our next long rest, we might need it. <laughs> uh, instead of a long rest, I'm instead going to take eight short rests. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, um, I need I, I need I need two people to roll a d20. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, I I will take first watch though. I rolled a seven. You know. Okay, and I rolled a eight. Okay. So the average result is seven point five. So seven and a half Minotaur's attack is right. <laughs> <laughs> no, seven and a half TM. So I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, so, Malachi, you're taking first watch. Um, is someone watching the. Is somebody trading off with him for. The other uh, uh, I'll be awake. <clears throat> Dialine will be awake the entire time. Okay. Dialine, you need to get some rest, man. Do. Do fiends? Form sustains me. I mean, technically, yes. Okay. I'm just, I'm just saying, Dylan. Look, I know you, I know you, I know you a bad mother. Shut your mouth. But look, <laughs> you, you got to, <laughs> you gotta get some rest sometime. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll rest when the when the job is done. And he's he's rubbing his eyes, and you can see that he's look he's uh, reading a a book, and it's incessantly. Mm. Karen's going to be curled up like a dog on the ground, and I'll be nestled up in there like a little kitten. What book are you reading? Yeah, that's a good question. It's a very good question. Uh, I'm not exactly certain uh, myself, but I I feel the, the need to read it it ended up in my pocket after uh, after Torm uh, blessed me with his powers, and I'm just trying to get a better understanding of uh, of what it is I'm supposed to be doing with it. So just, uh, I got a lot to process. Got you, got you. You know, I had that Volo's book when we was at Candlekeep, and um, I have this other book. I haven't gotten into it, like, you know, but I really wish they would have let me uh, keep, but I mean, I took some notes because we were coming down here, but I wish they would have let me just have the book, well, not have it, but let me borrow it until we get back. Oh, I mean, like, if they had, like, a system in which you could check a book out and then return it at a later date? Yeah, man, that would be awesome. Yo, I was thinking about that while I was writing that, while I was writing down uh, the yeah. notes. If you had a library card, then they would have let you. But... <laughs> but you have to have, but you have to have proof of address and uh, and and a, and a and an ID from uh, from Candlekeep. Yeah. What's the zip code from whatever plane you come from? Oh, well, I'm from Never. I'm from Neverwinter, so you know what I'm saying. That's uh, that's three six nine. <laughs> Damn, she's fine. <laughs> it's been a month and it hasn't been long enough. <sighs> so, so you know, I mean, there's a library in Neverwinter where I give well a lot of my studies, a lot of my book studies, 
Mm -hmm. I'm saying this while I'm doing perception checks because I'm I want to make sure that I'm still scanning and stuff. From like when uh, when you know some stuff you have to learn by you know going to the library and reading, and then some stuff I had to procure. Yeah, and some stuff you just gotta learn on the streets, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. why should I worry? Why should I care? I mean, I only stole from grumpy people. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, grumpy I, people? That's such a low look, bar. <laughs> look, look. People who have like a lot of money. Like the worst Dexter ever. <laughs> look, look. People, people who have a lot of money usually seems to be very grumpy. And people who don't have a lot of money usually seems to be also grumpy. Happy. <laughs> no, happy, but they're struggling. So I give the people I give people who are not so wealthy. So, so what, is money this, what is this? What is this? What, 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 what is this? Good times garbage. So you, so you steal from people that you perceive to be grumpy, and you give to people who you think are happy. Sometimes, sometimes, once in a while, like like I can't be here anymore. <laughs> okay, I'm just I'm just bullshit. Anyway. Uh, that was clear. Uh, was... That was. There, there's no okay, question about right. whether you were bullshitting. <laughs> okay. Anyway, can I? Uh, I want to make a perception check to see if anybody's coming. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Give me a perception check. That's bad. I'm talking too much. I got a twelve. <laughs> okay. Um. I mean, it is. It's all quiet. Yeah, it's all quiet. I'm I'm usually I'm I'm just talking because Malachi's just talking because uh he's not trying to think about what that one dude said to him before he got snatched down to hell. You're trying he's to think of I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? Uh that time when Tati ran into the ran into the barrier and the dude that was in the barrier disrespected Tati's mentor, mm -hmm. and then he made a statement about somebody who was near and dear to my heart. So Malachi talks a lot of times because he's not trying to think about that particular situation. Stuff. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Are you are you doing okay, Malachi? Uh man, you know, outside of us being here, constantly having to get into fights, me being impaled by Minotaurs, uh, things have been good, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's, it's I hot start and <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely is that. Uh, do you have a g give me a couple of your good berries, and I'll brew us up some tea. Can tell me all about. Oh, I got. You. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got. You. And so he starts like mashing the good berries into to like an infusion with some uh, some herbs and whatnot, and he's he's pouring and like it. It was so much easier when I could just do it in the palm of my hand, but uh, oh, like so he just he takes it over to uh, the the fireplace that you that that you made. And he's like, so. Oh, so 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 what's what's the issue, my friend? You survived all those terrible things? What? I'm I mean, man, the 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 worst things some of the worst things I've already survived, man. You know? Uh orc raid, uh, orcs raiding. You hear a mumbling that... from Tatian Tiamat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be an issue. That that's. that's did she just say Tiamat? Yeah, she did. She, she did. That's gonna that's gonna be an issue. That's 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 gonna be a problem. Um, he he like writes down in the in the margins of, of the book he's reading. Like we need to circle back to Tiamat whenever she wakes up. Yeah, we need to. We're gonna have to have a conversation with Tati about really what happened and. How, how we got here. Um, I mean, dog, 
that one, you ain't been around. You you ain't been around. So there was a few other people that was with our group before uh, we got down here. You know what I mean? And you know, you know how it is being an adventurer. You have friends, and you know it comes with the occupation of hazard. You know what I mean? Butchers cut themselves, cooks. Uh, you know, you know, uh, cooks. You know, burn down fisher, the kitchen. Fisherman. Yeah, if, you know, sometimes when you're cooking, like, you might have a pan fire, you know what I'm saying? And adventurers sometimes leave or they uh, don't make it. So, and I've had family members and friends who haven't made it, you know what I mean? So, I'm just surviving, man. Try to, just try to survive. And I try to make sure that the people who I keep around me also make it. That, that's what, yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. I get that, and he's like pouring a, pouring him a a, a class of uh, of tea, and uh, it's as adventurers. Yes, we we do gather and and, and scatter, you know, with, with winds, and it's just important to remember that. Oh. Ed like chuckles to himself. I was gonna say we all share the same sky, but uh, I don't know exactly how the interplanar like uh, aerodynamics uh, works. And he's you see he's kind of like taken back because he's he too is in a completely new realm that beads down and down he means up, and power doesn't necessarily equal fire anymore. And he's trying to he. He's trying to, to to wrestle with that and try to make it all make sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, if it wasn't if it wasn't so like constantly smoky, the sky would actually look kind of cute. You know what I'm saying? You got the reds, and you got and you got some you got some you got some reds, and you got some and you got some, uh, <laughs> and some black reds. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it wasn't if it wasn't constantly smoky. Because, like, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the fusion of reds and purples, you know what I'm saying? The, like, that's actually... It needs to be saying? balanced. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So you're just checking, is the sky red? Right. <laughs> <laughs> <Get> some red? <laughs> Tati, you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, nah, man, it's like, you know, um... We we this group has gone through some hard times, man. I, I'm I'm happy that we got our friend back. You know what I'm saying? Because when he died on us, that was that was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, yeah, dude, that was crazy. Yeah, you know. Um, I'm sad that we lost a few along the way to get here. Um, I am terrified of what's to come that we still have to get to. But I'm optimistic. I think I'm optimistic just because we have been through the fire so far and we've made it out. We haven't been... We've gone through the limit and I, I feel like we're about to make it to the wall. Yeah. For the chance to be with you all I would gladly risk it all. Right. The fire. To the fire. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I thought, you, I thought you were saying from the window to the wall. I was like, what? I absolutely <laughs> did. For a second. I was like, <laughs> West, whatever, whatever, whatever. I, was like, I was like, this is not the time. <laughs> No, no, no. Not little John. Shaka Khan, my man. No, we're talking about Shaka Khan, bro. Through the fire. I I know know that now. (laughs) But when you started. Yeah, yeah. No, same page. I was a little concerned. No. (laughs) Sweat is not dropping down in the balls, okay? Nah, it is. It's about it's about 112 here all the time. The sweat has dropped in fall. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, I, I do want to take a second to give a shout out to Bex too, uh, for the subscription. Um, thank you. You get to 
um, you get to gift one of the players or the GM a nat 20. Um, just type in the chat who you'd like to give that to. Um, and uh, yeah, anyone who is in the chat, you can uh, use your stream, uh, your stream points, or your, your channel points um, and your bits to uh, support the players um, and impact the story. You can give not 20s, uh, you can give inspiration, you can give auto hits. Um, you can also give them to the GM. You know, I will definitely put those to good use. Um, so there's no nefarious plotting from it's this like direction at all. Lies. So, lies. Um, he is, he is the he is the he is the father of lies. He is playing the father of lies. Um, but yes, you can support the you can support the stream um, in that way. Um, subscribe or follow. Um, you get to give a net twenty or a inspiration. No, respectively. I will never forgive you. And thank you, Bex, for that for that uh, for that twenty. I appreciate it. Oh, um, it's okay. too rough. It, it is fine. It is fine. <laughs> wow. Well, um, thank you very much. So, um, but with this, in the midst of this heart to heart. Um, Dailai and, and Malachi, um, during your watch, you find it is, it is a very, it's fairly, it's fairly quiet um, outside of the occasional drip or drop that echoes throughout the chamber um, and the occasional tremor, very slight that you feel from the commotion above ground, um, but it is a silent few hours um, as you sit and you keep watch um, you see nothing uh, coming from the portal um, come from that chamber at all that um, line, do you have anybody special that you attach to not anymore hmm. sorry to hear that I could love that life and death comes for us all. It, it was customary for me to to be a part of everything, but not quite attached to it, because life is transient, you know. Yeah. Um, as, as you're speaking, um, you hear Footsteps behind you. Um, I grab my bow. Um, and you just hear, that won't be necessary. Um, as you hear the voice of um, Alder Raven Guard um, come from behind you. Um, and he hands, he, he hands, uh, he motions with a flask that he has in hand uh, as if um, to offer either of you a drink. Uh huh. And he, will... he offers his cup in exchange, and uh, like a, yeah. don't mind. Um, he says, for some reason, for some god's damn reason, the only thing that tastes normal here is alcohol and liquor. I I mix the alcohol in the uh in the tea. Okay. Yeah. Elderberry gin and what like that that good berry uh, gin and juice. That good berry, that good berry gin and juice, bro. Hey, hey, hey. Halflings, halflings have made good berry gin and juice in a long uh, good berry good berry good berry gin and juice a long time, bro. Um, so much trouble and never winning. You see, it's kind of no, sorry. <laughs> He says, um, he says, I know we've, he says, I know we've all been through it. I appreciate what you've done here today. I, Thanks I for a, being I there do, when we came looking. It would have sucked to go have, through all we did and <laughs> have you not be real. That is 100% facts. Uh, I can 100%. assure you, I'm, I can assure you I'm just as real as they come. I just may not live up to your expectation. Yo, how was how was uh, uh, Ultra Rail before it got sucked into 
before I got sucked into hell, man. Like, tell me about that, man. Um, he gives a very deep, exasperated sigh. Um, he says, you know, I hate to say it as someone from Baldur's Gate, but it was a pretty good city. The people were decent. I hated them. Just like any Baldur's Baldur in this, but they were decent enough people. And if they were in trouble, I would have given, I would have given anything that I could have. Which I could have said the same for the high overseer, though. The guy was a piece of work. The whole reason that we came here was to create peace between our cities, between our regions. But of course we found out that was all bullshit. It's always the people that you think you should trust that you shouldn't. Be your own You know, people. as someone from Baldur's Gate, I knew that that was the case, but for some reason, I believed in that moment. We got there, and everyone was welcoming us, and I really thought that we could bring peace. Just for a moment. But, hey... All those people dead, and for what? Read. And he just kind of... He just kind of strokes his chin, um, where, at this point, there is... Um, there's kind of like a five o'clock shadow. You can tell that he... All the Raven Guard is, is pretty frequently... He is um, pretty clean-shaven. From what you've seen in like most of the paintings of him um but there's uh some pretty thick stubble that has uh that has begun to appear on his face um and he uh yeah and he looks at you malachi and he says you know i've heard stories of you method man Yeah, we have a file on you. Uh, a dossier, if you will. Not, not, not everything that you hear about me is true. I guess the same is true for both of us. And he kind of lifts the flask. He raises the flask and takes a swig. He says, "I can assure you." Whatever debt you owe to society will be paid if we get out of this alive. What do you know? Have you heard anything I'm... of uh, Argath? Uh, 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 elder, older, Mr. Raven yeah. God. Oh. He motions over to uh he motions over to, to Johan and and the shield. Uh, mm -hmm. And he he says Yeah, just legends. They say that the reason why Baldur's is so fucked up is because there was a demon that was living in the that was living in the ground. I mean, after everything that I've seen, I can't say that it's bullshit. Devil, demon, they're all the same to me, but I'm sure that there are distinctions. Uh, <clears throat> how how are you feeling, uh how you feeling, Malachi? The sun's getting Oh I how, do, how does the oh, day the, pass? The, the, sun, the sun the sun does not change i mean you it's it's yeah. pretty dim because you guys are underground but the you guys have not seen night what you're hearing Avernus. yeah we've only we have only seen daylight um man and, I, and I, you know i i don't know if i would call it daylight just kind of like a red hue um beaming down on everyone you to clarify seen... it's red this guy. <laughs> yes, it is red. With shades it of is, red. It is, the, by red. it is it is the uh eye of Sauron that is always on us. Like um 
Indeed. Indeed. I mean, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, I'm I'm better. I'm a few weeks ago. Not a few weeks ago, we were still trying to see if this man was even real. You know, a few weeks ago, we were trying to <clears throat> we were stopping bone devils from uh from eating lily lilius people. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot has happened, man. I'm, and that's the reason why I'm. Well, I'm hopeful and optimistic that we can get through this. I'm not gonna lie, I've been terrified since we've been here. But but we make it through. We gonna we're gonna make it through. I'll drink to that. I appreciate your optimism. Unfortunately, sometimes it's all we get. But we make the best of it. Yeah. I do have some words for I am kind of hoping well Dylan, Dylan, I think you left me when, when uh, that man that man that was in that circle that uh, before he got pulled down the hill I, I forgot his name well, Seth, you, you, the, yeah. the, the, high, the high overseer yeah Savius Krieg. When Krieg, we were when we were talking to Krieg. Krieg. Uh, Krieg said some things that were not that was very disconcerting, and because he morphed into a different being and got dragged down here, I'm, I'm, not hoping to see him, but I feel like we're gonna run into him again. And it will give me the opportunity to to introduce his face to my new sword. So I'm looking forward to that. Well, I can tell you one thing: if he was dragged down, if he was dragged down to hells, and he had a deal for souls, you're gonna see him again. See, devils don't destroy souls. Souls are the most valuable thing to them. So they're not gonna kill you. They're just going to repurpose your soul. And cool. honestly, I think that's a fair part of me. Part of me know. doesn't like that, but I really do dig the the recycle aspect of it. I think that I, I think that is the big difference between devils and demons. Demons will eat you in all your essence, but devils will repurpose you for their own personal goals. Sounds about um, right. Yeah. Maybe that might be something to ponder uh, while you get some rest. Yeah, I'm going to get some rest. Thank you, again. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm I'm not going to wake up Tati. Tati looks like... Mm -hmm. Tati looks like hell. I'm going to let Tati sleep. I'm going to wake up... um, (laughs) I'm going to wake up Johan. There's no need. I can. Uh, Older Raven Guard says, "I've got the next watch." I uh, I post up in the corner. Uh, I like back back to the wall, sitting, just you know. Yeah. And Dylan, are you still? I mean, uh, I will. Uh, I will rest. Okay. All right. Then I, I uh, will. I will wake up. Oh, you said Alder has the the next. You have the next watch, Alder. Yeah. Go ahead. Get rest. Uh, I've got what I need. I've got what I need. He's gonna go like a uh, nudge, nudge taters, and uh, he's gonna be like. He doesn't have the sympathy for her that uh, that uh, that Malachi does. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> how, how you doing? What? It, it's your it's your it's your watch. 
I'm gonna tap into that boundless or well of energy you got. Okay, what? I had a awful dream. Um, yeah, I'll take watch. You okay? He starts to get a little bit more serious uh, after he sees uh, Shrot, you look. Yeah, I just had a yeah, t t you know uh, t t Tiamat? Uh, he looks down into his book and sees that he he wrote that we need he needed to circle back to this. He just he wasn't he wasn't sure it was going to be this soon. So uh, yeah, he's like yeah, I, I definitely heard of Tiamat somewhere. We, yeah, I I I had a dream that I I freed Tiamat, but yeah, uh, that yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'll t I'll t I'll take watch. Like he's like you freed Tiamat. N not like for for real. How like no. For real. N no, it was a it was a dream. Inside check. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm sleeping. No, no. no. <laughs> uh, Di Dilion is kind of like. Like you realize that she literally just woke up, so it's kind of like, yeah, just gonna, uh, gonna let it go, and I can't just okay. Just, uh, be, I'm right over here if you want to talk. Uh, Older is pretty good company. Uh, Sounds good. She stretches. He kind of like throws a, throws like a pebble towards like Johan and Gargath, like pink. <laughs> Why? Isn't it also his turn? We're on two. We're on two by twos, right? Well, I thought uh, Olengard was also. Is that not? I mean, do yeah, you, older. Do you, do you really trust yeah. him? I I don't know. I I just woke up. Exactly. So, ting, <laughs> <laughs> ting. You want? I'm gonna roll over and nuzzle into Karen. <laughs> <laughs> the most disturbing right. person of our party is being so <laughs> cute right now. <laughs> right. And then uh, Dialyte is gonna go sit in the in the corner and like, like stuff his face into the book. Get real quiet. <laughs> as long as as long as Johan's not sucking on halfling toes like you was earlier. Oh yeah. no. I'm, 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 I'm all, all okay with that. That is fair. I forgot okay. that happened. I didn't. <laughs> I certainly did not. Okay. So um so uh, was it Tatiana's is up? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um so you see so you see Alder, um he's just sitting on one of the benches, uh basically just kind of like watching the derrick the, the barricade. Um and he has a flask in hand, um a hand on it and a hand uh just kind of like um resting near his sword. Um, and he sees you, he sees you, Tatian, um, but he doesn't immediately say anything. Um, do you do anything? I think Tatian just, like, politely nods, uh, in his direction and then, you know, posts up to take watch. Um. She's still trying, yeah. she's still thinking about this dream that she had. Um, he looks down at you and he says, "What did you see in there?" In where? I saw you come out of the portal. It was one of the first things I saw, actually. The 
I went into the portal? That, mm, No, that... No. In my dream, I went into the portal. And I... And Tiamat. But that... You couldn't have seen... I don't. I can't have. Oh, Tati geez. just sits with their head in her hands, like, no, that can't be real. Is Tati he, disassociating? He he pulls out a very tiny. He pulls out a very uh like a a tiny like it's basically a shot glass, but it would be like a, a full mug to you. And he pours yeah, sure. a little bit of the, the liquor out of his flask into that. And he's like, it sounds like you might need one of these. And he slides it in your direction. Yeah, she fully downs it. And uh, as we know from the literal thimbles that she'd been drinking previously, uh, this but, is a lot. But, but, but you're going to need to make a constitution. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can do that. The con save or a check? Um, it's con. It's, it's the same. It's the same. Yeah. Seventeen. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You. I mean, you down it, and um. I mean, it's very you, warm. you feel you feel it a little bit. Yeah. I mean it. Yeah. Um. You down it pretty uh, pretty quickly, but it doesn't like hit you full effect. But you 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 feel a. a a little lighter. <laughs> yeah, it's clearly a healing potion. We've established this already. Robert's right. <laughs> <sighs> uh, what did did you see? All I saw was you come out with some elf. Yeah, that seems familiar. Um, from the from the look on your face, what you saw wasn't great. No, no, it it, it wasn't. Um, how h hypothetically would you put the mother of dragons to 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 sleep? Hypothetically. Hypothetically, I wouldn't. I'll mm. get the hell out of there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what if all the people you cared about were in danger? And hi hypothetically, it was your fault. <sighs> well, if we're speaking in hypotheticals, I'd find the most powerful fucking person that I could, and I'd put that dragon to sleep permanently. And, and hypothetically, who, who who would that be? Well, I don't know, but I sure as hell find him. And hypothetically, if I was worried about it, then I would stop worrying and I would get to business. Because worrying ain't going to do anything about saving the people that I care about. But this is all just hypotheticals. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hypothetically, I'd hypothetically I'd recommend that you get some rest and you get ready for a fight, little one. Cause in hell, you ain't got time to worry. 
are are you okay if I leave you for the rest of watch? Yeah. Okay. I think you'd be better off getting the rest anyway. Okay. Uh. uh thank you. Like in in reality, th thank you. In reality, <laughs> get some rest. She goes and uh, goes back to the corner and tucks in and tries to go to sleep. Okay. Um, after a couple of hours, you guys awaken um, and you've received the benefits of a long rest. Uh, so you are all restored. Um, you wake up to older Raven Guard. Um, just kind of like checking all of his equipment. And, uh, at this point, he's like awake, right as rain, and uh, yeah, he's basically he's practically ready to go. Um, and I think that that is a good place um, for us to take our ten minute break. Um, if you are watching, I want to thank you. Um, also, thank you to supporter Akeem for the follow. You can uh, grant one of the players or the GM. Um, inspiration um just type in the chat who you'd like to give that to and um, we appreciate that um we will be back everyone in 10 minutes um so stay tuned uh as we are uh back at it in a minute <laughs> so following a long rest um and a night of retrospection um you all wake um Older Raven Guard is strapping himself up. He is sheathed his sword and he is tightening the bracers that are about his arms. And he looks at you all and he says, All right, we're about ready to roll. Uh, are we going downhill? Um, I thought we were going to be walking. That song from Stranger Things is now like <laughs> <laughs> playing in my head again. Sorry. Focus. Damn. There. <laughs> so sorry. So sorry. <laughs> the audacity of Lawrence telling me to focus, though. <laughs> Just the audacity. Um. Older Raven Guard uh, looks at you, Dylan, and he says, we can walk, we can roll, we can fly, we can swim as a... Uh, I don't care, as long as we get back to where we need to be. All right, <clears throat> All right then. Uh, I'm ready whenever, whenever you are. So, so it is. Um, Tatian goes up and just walks over to Dylan to, like, walk with Dylan. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, how, and how were your dreams? Uh, yeah. How are you? Uh, are you good? <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of nods. He's like, okay, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll be here when you're ready. <laughs> and, uh, uh, he's like, I'm Thank thinking. you. Um, okay. is Johan still up. cuddling Karen? <laughs> uh, no, it's I, I, you know, ever ever since uh, dying and turning, uh, you know, my dreams uh, don't bother me as much. I, I kind of like them now. Oh, so they don't necessarily change, you just <laughs> appreciate them now. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm hearing. <laughs> All, all I heard was, you know, I used to have nightmares, but now my nightmares don't seem so, so bad when you got new phone. To be fair, to be fair. Karen is like the physical manifestation of his nightmares, and he was like cuddling up with her. Karen's are also a manifestation of my nightmares. <laughs> Like how, like how he had a nightmare of a nightmare that turned real, and now he's cuddling it while he's not having nightmares about that nightmare. 
Welcome to America. No, I mean, El Toro. <laughs> we have to stop now. <laughs> he, um, he had a night. He had a nightmare that the that the nightmare wanted to speak to a manager. So. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, tater, taters, taters, real quick, taters. Um. The amount I, that Tatian does not want to talk right now <laughs> is so not, apparent. Yeah, I, I, I hand you, I hand you an item, and I say, when you get some time, uh, this item, this item is one of the first things that I procured. And it was one of the first things that helped that it was one of the things that helped me when I was in tight spots. I think it'll help you too. What what is it? Uh it's a it's a wolf it's a jeweled wolf head. Uh it's a stone of good luck. Uh, th thank you. No problem. So yeah, uh, if you look up the Lucky Stone or the Stone of Good Luck in Wondrous Items, you should be able to find yeah, it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Wow, I got everything that. is coming up taters. <laughs> it's super not, though. <laughs> it's super not. That was actually, that, that item was actually one of the first items I ever got when I was working in, uh, that was uh, item that I procured when I was working uh, Baldur's Gate the first time I came to Baldur's Gate. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. All right. So, are you all prepared to to move out? Yep, I think so. I was drained. Some strength. Did that come back on a long rest? Yeah, does that come back? Because uh <laughs> I I yes, was like that. Amazing. I was about to say, because I was like, bro. Because I have a six in strength right now because you I, I had a six in strength too. Because, I like, because oh my you. God. <laughs> no, I, I you didn't, didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I forgot I was strong. That's how, that's it how was, bad this was. It was it was I mean, I'm not super. Strong. We got attacked. I we didn't. got attacked by demons. No, we got attacked by demons and shadows, and the shadows was sucking us dry. <laughs> I mean, it'd be God. like that sometimes. Um, <laughs> that hurt my feelings. <laughs> it did. It really did. But uh, yeah, I yeah. will scout ahead. I will on our way back. I don't remember how to get back. Um, I, I mean, okay. you, yeah. that should be job I mean, it's, one it's, uh, it's, of your scouting. This know how to get back. <laughs> See, I know how I know how to get back upstairs, and I know how to get to where we used to be. If you don't know I, how to get back, you're no longer a scout. You're just lost. Yeah. Well, I didn't <laughs> say I was. I didn't say I was lost. I did not say. Hold on now. Hold on now. <laughs> Correct your grammar. I'm not lost. <laughs> I know. I know where we are. Where say, we are. Correct your grammar. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said correct your grammar, not your grammar. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> grandma. it's like dang. Correct, correct your grandma's grandma. wild. <laughs> your grandma's wild right now. <laughs> like, get your get your grammar. Get your grandma. Get your grandma. Okay? Get your grandma. Get your, I'm gonna say. Get your that. Okay. Oh, I'm for sure gonna start saying that though. Yeah, Rio, you got it. Correct your grandma. <laughs> don't correct, correct, me. Me. correct your grandma. <laughs> correct your grandma. Oh, like, no. Don't come for me. Correct your grandma. All right. uh, uh, I would. So you can't do that in the black house. You get slapped. Grandma, grandma will whoop you. Grandma will, <laughs> yeah, my face. Grandma, my face. Grandma hurts right now. <laughs> that is. Grandma, that is fair. grandma will whoop you, and you will have to let her whoop you. Like you know, that you ain't fighting that. Grandma out here going crazy. All right. Um, I know so where sorry. we're at. Okay. Look, I know where we're at. All right. Okay. Um, it's just that uh, I'm trying to remember. Are we trying to get? So you are trying to you're trying to get back to the refugees at the uh, at the the high hall. 
Um, right. That is where the refugees um, that you found are. That's where Feria is, uh, or Feria, um, the <clears throat> the priestess. Um, that yeah. is where she is. She was the one that sent you to find Older Raven Guard and the um, the Flaming Fists that had gone with him. Um, you have located them. Um, the other and Flaming he, Fists are dead. And he said we need yeah. to talk to uh, Raven Guard. So we need to talk to her about the helmet to see if there's anything that can be done with it. About the hel- yeah. yes, about about the helm and the uh, and the portal. Um, and he said that he had a. He said he wanted to discuss what he saw when he had the the helm okay. on. Yeah, okay. yeah. So uh, this is a walk and talk. We can discuss what you uh, what you saw in the helm as we get back to the lady who uh, sent us down here. Um, Fira, Fira, is it Fira? Yeah, Fira. Yeah, Fira. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we need to go back talk to Fira. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm gonna. I say. Just give us an extra hour. I would like to just get an hour so Taters could attune to the stone, or we could attune while walking. I mean, it works. I can attune while walking. All right, what are you attuning to? The luck stone. Okay, got you. All right. Um, I need two of you to roll a d20. Mm. Rolling D20. Ooh, not good. I got 17 minotaurs. I mean, we don't know what's good and what's not, to be fair. I, I, just, I, I, got, I got seven. I got oh. seven. Seven? All right. Um, <laughs> seven, seven. <laughs> well, now I want to roll. On your way back up, um, you see, um, you see Gideon Lightfoot, um, accompanied by, um, two skeletal minotaurs, um, and he has a, um, a small winged, uh, devil on his shoulder, um, and he, as he sees you all uh, come up, um, he says, "So is the deed done?" As a player, I have no idea what he's talking. About. I don't remember. <clears throat> oh, um, was it to get the helm? Yes. Um, he, Gideon, uh, he was the guy. Who, um, yeah, yeah, I remember who he is, but I don't remember what deed he's talking about. I mean, you guys said that you would be able to stop the the demons from coming out of the portal and to. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we did that them. and then some. It's that and then some that always has me, has me worried. <laughs> well, we stopped, we stopped the demons from coming. Okay, okay, good. We stopped the demons from coming out the portal, but that, but, um, uh, we returned to inside out and through the portal. Yeah, yeah uh, we we don't. Uh, the, some of us. The, we we, we did it. Have just, yeah, we did it. We sent our most powerful and trustworthy of our warriors do to that. that portal. Don't do that. <laughs> no. She came back. She came back unscathed. <laughs> she she no. told us that there was nothing to worry about on no. the other side of that portal. No, I didn't. <laughs> So I trust her invisible. No. There's nothing left. That side of the portal. Why, Chris? You're destroying me right now. Please stop. <laughs> he said that that there are no more worries. I, ever, I absolutely did is. not say that. For yes. the rest of your day. Roll the tape. Yeah, it was. You, no, you said it was all a dream. You used to read Word Up magazine. <laughs> Uh, it's fine. It'll be fine. Where's the lie? <laughs> I mean, when Where's I came lie? out of the portal, I said multiple times what happened. It, exactly as I said it, right here. Uh, I do not believe that is true. Yeah, no, for sure. I was like, Tiamat's back. I did a bad thing multiple times. You said you did a bad thing. 
and that Tiamat's back. <laughs> I started this episode saying Tiamat's awake. See now I'm just now I'm just thinking of uh of guess who's uh battery's back is just about <laughs> yeah, back. All right. All right. Oh my god. She is her, we need to she is her own she is her that. own band. She has five like they could I know that's what I'm saying. Like all five of the heads. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need she's, this. She's, she's spending so much time on spending so much time on world domination and Tiamat could be could be taking the world by storm. In a whole different way. The blue yeah. the blue headed the blue okay. headed dragon if, says, Am I original? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, am I the only one? If suggested that to her, uh, maybe she'd chill. (laughs) (laughs) Have you ever wanted to be a star? (laughs) If we're going to be honest, Tiamat should be singing Gone by NSYNC, and and the the white-headed dragon has to be the one to sing it. (laughs) Has to sing the lead. God sing the lead. (laughs) As, um... (sighs) So as Gideon approaches you, he sees um, older Raven Guard. Um, and he says, "So you survived." He says, "More or less." And what of the elf? I saw him go down, but I did not gone. see him return. Gone. Uh, not not dead. Just g- gone. Left. Gideon looks well, a bit puzzled. He could be dead. I mean, we haven't seen him for hours. He could have died at some point. Oh, yeah. I guess. Yeah, that's what I assume anytime that I haven't seen someone for hours <laughs> is that they are dead. That's called anxiety, and you should talk to someone about it. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, you you're know, always surprised and happy to see him. You know, there's, you know, there, you know, there's a place in Neverwinter called Good Help. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that, that where you can talk to somebody about your anxiety. <laughs> There's a spell called. You get a secure space. sending stone, and you guys can just talk from anywhere. <laughs> also, I want to take uh, this moment of silliness to thank Isabit for the uh, the gold gift for Lawrence. Um, that is a gold oh, gift a for Lawrence. That's a nat twenty. That is a nat twenty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you so much. Am I um, original? Oh, man. <laughs> so, um, and technically, TMI is the original. So, there you go. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Terrifying. Gideon is a little bit, is a bit confused uh, when you say this is gone, but not dead. Um, but he doesn't seem to question it. Um, they came back and then they left. They didn't give us. You don't money. know, right? Because you guys, no, we didn't saw, see... we saw you, 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 and... you, you saw Elsa, no. you saw Elsa leave the room. Um, yeah, at, we saw and you and him and ran after. Yeah, Elsa. makes sense. And then after we caught up to you, he was gone. So yeah. he he came back and then he because ran. I killed him. Um, no, uh, see, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ends like dynamite. Nothing, nothing survived on that side of the portal. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have literally seen Tati punch horn devils to death. So her punching somebody uh into and, oblivion and they, into oblivion is not that far fetched. You know what I'm saying? Like we we have literally seen her snatch souls. <laughs> she wake she wakes up and snatches souls. You know what I'm <laughs> she wanna dive in it. She wanna dive in the soul. She wanna dive in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we have to end the stream now. <laughs> Whatever do you mean? We got thirty minutes left. Oh my god. Oh. I need I need somebody I need somebody to clip that and put it on TikTok. A thought you snatch it so <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. So Gideon is completely confused. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes, the, the deed is done. Um, if you would please, uh, we, we're on our way back home. Or back to reality. There goes gravity. He, um, he looks at you and he says, it's like, I will uphold my end. But no, that what is happening in Azrael cannot be reversed. Zariel will have the day. And she will have the city. Zariel is, is po powerful. Indeed, she is. Oh, so sorry. What, was there more to that thought, little one? No, no, no. Uh, is it? Do you have a powerful people being powerful being bingo card? We got Tiamat, <laughs> Zarya. <laughs> not, not, not necessarily. But, but if I were to have one, who would you put on the bingo card? Uh, in terms of oh. the, uh, in terms of the, who would be on the the powerful people bingo card? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, obviously, uh, AJ McLean, but. Um, uh, Angela Bassett. Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> Angela Bassett is uh, the wild mother. Uh, and, mm. uh, <laughs> Angela Bassett is the wild mother. Um, in my head. Uh, I, uh, if, if we're going to a power structure, uh, look, look, um, we have some money I, we, we can we can ask. Gargath. <laughs> I forget he exists yeah, Gargath, all the time. Gargath hasn't has been somewhat frustrated, um, and he has been somewhat ornery. Um, mm. Why is why is Gargath frustrated and ornery? Because he's I in think, a shield. You know what those are synonyms for? Is grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, those are sending them for grumpy. I think I'm talking about powerful. I wasn't ready. Uh, yes, we were talking about powerful. Well, obviously, we're talking about powerful. You've got to think. You've got to think the top devils, right? Yes. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't have uh, a, a Rolodex, if you will, of uh, powerful. I do, because I had bolos. I had, I took notes. Um, can I look at my notes <laughs> and see? <laughs> I mean, Hypothetically, you, we're you own the for someone <laughs> who could look at defeat T Tiamat. Hypothetically, oh, well, the Sky Pony should could for sure. The Sky Pony uh, isn't real. So Karen, <laughs> oh, oh, uh, Karen. Um, uh, I mean, obviously, Tati looks at Karen, sizing her up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He's like, I could be Karen's ass. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I, I wish a Karen would. <laughs> but, uh, uh, obviously, you know, the pantheon of pathling deities are very strong, especially in Wheelix. So Wheelix is also very the moon, the moon, the, the moon god. Older know. Raven, older Raven god interjects, um, and he says, um, he says, I hate to interrupt this. I hate to interrupt this holy pissing contest. But I think it's time <laughs> that you shake your dicks and let's get back to it. Thinking it yeah. once is fine. Thinking it twice, it's okay. More than three times. I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, um, 
just so you just so you know, DM, I'm uh never mind. Never mind. Okay. You you're never mind? All right, good. Got you. Um um as you guys um Gideon steps out of your way and opens the path for you to head back. Um and his the his Minotaur um separate to allow you to um to move on. And I'm assuming that you do. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Um eventually as you leave as you leave the cemetery and travel back through the city. Um, after a couple of hours um, of passing through the city still, um, you're still, you still hear the, the roars and, um, and snarls of demons and devils alike going at it with one another. The occasional tremble of the ground below your feet. Um, and the oppressive heat continuously beating down. Um, you make your way back to the high hall, um, and to the particularly the cathedral of the high hall. And retracing your steps back to the area below the cathedral, you meet up again with Furia Jinx and as she is there, um, there is um, someone who appears to be a druid um, who rushes to see you as you enter. Um, as older Raven Guard, um, as older Raven Guard enters, they're surprised to see him alive, and they're even more surprised to see the helm of Tormsite in his in his hand. Um, and um, as you as you come back, um, Furia um, immediately says, "I'll oh, thank Tim." And she looks at um, she immediately runs to older Raven Guard, and she kind of like examines his eyes, um, and she says, "You wore the helm, didn't you?" And he says. Yes, that was the intention, wasn't it? And um, and she says it was a f- that was a foolish adventure. But you're fortunate that the that this group was after you. Yeah, don't thank Tyr. Thank uh, thank the people who actually helped them. <laughs> well, is this not is this one not a follower of Tyr? As she points to um, to die lion, uh, <clears throat> uh, I, I am. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe I missed it, but I didn't see Tear helping. Uh, yeah. Ma- maybe uh, now's not not the time, Johan. Oh, Torma, uh, you know, be some mysterious ways or <laughs> direct yeah, ways, she, she, uh, I guess, she, through she, me. She simply says. <laughs> She simply says, "I will. I will not go back and forth with you on this. There's more. There's more important things to be done." As she takes the helm, and she asks, "Older Raven Guard, um, what did you see when you put on the helm?" And he um, he stops for a moment. Um, and he recalls, um, it's, it's hard to recall all of it. It was somewhat cloudy. And there was some sort of demonic essence that warped what I saw. But I saw a bloodied woman in armor. Um... She looked as if she were a soldier wearing the colors of the crest of El Terrell. She had a long sword that seemed as if it had 
some sort of divine, divine power held within it. There was a wound dripping of blood from her cheek. And as when he says and he his eyes like flash like wide open. Um and he looks at Lulu and he says that that thing was there next to the woman. And Lulu it kind of gets surprised and shocked. Um and um as Ra Elder Ravengard continues, Lulu seems like more um focused in on what he's saying, kind of like waiting on every word. And Elder Ravengard says there was this gigantic demon attempting to devour the woman. But she plunged the sword into the ground while the this elephant made a trumpet sound with its trunk. The demon was hurled back as in a pale white palace rose up from the sword. And the elephant fled and took to the red sky where it watched as a bloody scab grew from the ground to engulf the palace and the enormous demon. You, you fled. Well, for what seemed like days, months. And you happened upon two odd, strange, bird-like humanoids that were next to some sort of infernal vehicle. This... They had strange tools and weapons. And... That was it. And Lulu just kind of like looks very concerned and, and, and worried. She's trying to recall and she's like, I... What woman? What sword? What... Wait a minute. That's right. I was with one of the Hell Riders. We... We... We stole Zario's sword. And... We created a fortress around it with her sword. To protect it. So that we could stop her. That's the... And you see Lulu, there's like a bright flash that emanates from Lulu um, that kind of fills the room for a moment. Um, and she says, Yale. Yale was their name. Yale? You said Yale? Y Y A L E? Uh E L, but yeah. Right. We we protected the sword. Was Yale another Hellrider? Yes. Yale was one of the last ones. So where's this fortress? Yeah. Remember where this fortress is, or or uh, and he he looks to uh, looks to older Raven Guard, or do you, do you, did you glean any any landmarks or or anything from from the vision you had? Hold on, there's a couple other questions. Who's the giant demon that was trying to eat? 
Zario. If I if we're assuming that the lady with the sword is Zario. I I don't know the demon. I don't know the demon. But I do remember two bird folk. Um it sounds Are like we talking sea. Kinku or t uh Ericocra. Or Ericocra, yeah. Uh, big or small? Um, um, I mean, they were bigger Alan? than Malachi, smaller than than Johan, I guess. Uh, oh, that doesn't help me at all. <laughs> and, but they were. Uh, I th they had black feathers. I think. Um. Yeah, they have arms feathers. and wings, or just arms and wings together as the same limb? Um, they had, um, I, I think they were hands. They had hands. They were... Uh, Eric okay. Croker? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Before we get on, before we get there. Okay. You said that y'all built a fortress around Zariel's sword. Do we know where that fortress is? I I don't know where the I don't know where that fortress is, but I do remember the birds that I talked to. They, um, uh, Charles, uh, uh, Chip, uh, uh, Chuck, Chucka. That's right, Chucka and Clonk were their names. Um, that sounds like uh, Kinku to me. Um. I, I mean, I don't know if they I don't remember seeing one whose name was Ken or Ku, but I do know that they were bird people. Do we have any way of finding them? Could they help us? Okay, there's a lot of questions. But I do know that they they took me to a fort. I think it was called. Um, I think it was. Uh, ham bone? No, knuckle bone. <laughs> ham bone. Knuckle, knuckle bone. <laughs> yeah, and um, I, I don't remember a lot of details about the fort, but and as in a moment she like zips up to the top of the cathedral, um, and looks down on Avernus, um, below El Torel. Um, and, uh, she says, um, and she just trumpets very loud. And she says, oh, wait, I can see Fort Knucklebone. <laughs> and it's about 10 miles away. I mean, we've got to go down to Avernus, but I see it. <laughs> We're still not in Avernus. <laughs> You are in Avernus, but you're okay. like you're on El Terrell that is yeah, 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 ended yeah, above yeah. Avernus. Yeah, you're right. But like you have to go down to yeah. the to Avernus gotta, proper. You got to descend even more. Yeah. Okay. So these bird people oh. live in Fort Knucklebone. Yeah, yeah. I think they they were building like vehicles or something that allows them to to move through Avernus faster. Could we get one? Could we get one? I mean, sure. I, I mean, I don't think that they'll trade them, but you might be able to, you know, like steal one or, um, I don't know, like maybe give them a fish or something. A fish? I mean, I just remember that if you had fish, there aren't a lot of fish here in Avernus. I mean, so, they, unfortunately. they might like pickled halfling toes. Let's not you... leave with that, please. Like dog, dog. We have to get. Let, you let's keep that. Let's keep that close to you guys. To the chest. Know that I actually have any. You just said it. I, well, I'm saying they might like it. So if we were to find some, <laughs> oh uh, no, it's on record. It's on record yeah, that Dylan knows exactly sure. knows exactly that you've been eating them because he was he he was smelling them and catching you red handed. Yeah, didn't say anything. Okay. Yeah, let's hey. not need, I mean, I mean, depending on depending on like what 
he pickled them with, it could be green handed. So I hate it here. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So maybe we can find something that we can trade, but we can get a a ride, or even though know, we can ask them for a ride, like a taxi. You know what I'm saying? We can just or, run. Or, or maybe we could just ask. ask them where that fort is. You know, Taters, running 10 miles sounds like fun, but it's 110 degrees outside, and we ain't got enough water for that. So I would rather get a ride. <laughs> Tatian, <and> stop <laughs> stretching. <laughs> um, Alder Raven got interjects, and he says, as much as I would hate to break up this merriment, it seems that you all need to descend a bit further. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Suffice it to say, yeah. I will need to stay here. They need some, the people here in Elturel need someone to organize and to defend against the devils and demons. This might be the most fortified location, but it seems that finding Zario's sword is the key to, kill to getting us to getting us back Zariel yeah. is what is calling us here I care not for Tiamat Tiamat can have this place for all I care but Zariel is the one that yeah. needs to die for sure absolutely um yeah I need her sword yeah <laughs> I feel like there was a I feel like there was like a, a blank space and the two kill team that was supposed to be was supposed to fill that space. Is, is yeah. did anybody you else need to, you anybody you else pick that up from what yeah, Ada you was, don't was to, saying? You don't need to roll inside check for that one. That was definitely uh, okay. Okay, <laughs> I was I was just making sure that I wasn't the only one getting that feel. Right. Okay. You ain't, you ain't got to make a roll inside check for that. Um. But yeah, uh, let's see if we can get a ride, folks. I don't feel like walking ten miles on open land in in Avernus when we can get a ride. That makes sense to me. Well, so, uh, I have walked five hundred miles. <laughs> <laughs> I would walk five hundred more. 500 you know. More. <laughs> Just to be the cobalt to walk a thousand miles to get the sword. Shepherd it up. And as as soon as you as soon as you get the sword, all you hear is bah, bah, bah. Uh, <laughs> And we level up to twenty and we take out an archangel oh and uh, the mother of dragons. It'll be great. Oh god. It's fucking nerds. All right, first, first, let's get a ride. Let's go get a ride. Thank you. Actually, yeah. hey, Elder, Mr. Ravengard, sir. You've got to you. learn how to just say goodbye. That, <laughs> I was this, trying to. Lawrence, Lawrence, is, to. Lawrence, Lawrence is like a black mom at a barbecue <laughs> trying to no. leave. It's like, <laughs> like, all right, we're, we're about to leave, and then it takes like an hour before you actually leave. <laughs> like, you got to go say goodbye to everybody. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I didn't get my hug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I gotta say goodbye to Purvis real quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, I gotta take a plate home for the babies. Mm. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. You gotta, you gotta get a plate for the babies. You gotta get a plate. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> so. <laughs> um. <laughs> So, um, with that being said, I think, um, <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you, Shay, for the, uh, the silver gift. I appreciate that. Um, um, with that, I think that is a good place, uh, for us to wrap for, uh, this, uh, for this morning. Um, we leave it says Lawrence is still saying goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> the, ca- the camera pulls out. <laughs> Lawrence goes and he says goodbye to the, all the refugees. Like, <laughs> right, right, right. I just, you know what I'm saying? I just tell everybody it's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. You know, we going to be all right. All right. That's right that's 
Be optimistic. Gun might blow, but we gonna be all right. All right. All right. You wanna remember me? Um, we gonna be all right. <laughs> um, I would like Turns to thank Kirk Franklin. <laughs> Sorry. First of all, I would like to thank. <laughs> uh, First, give it out our God. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Um, I my name is Winston Taylor Lewis III. I am the GM. Um, I am part of the the, the reason why uh, it took us so long to get to a furnace. But I'm also um, delighted to be here um, with these fellows um, because it has been great. Um, and speaking of these fellows, I'm going to allow them to introduce themselves. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, it's me, uh, your boy, Chris. Uh, yeah, uh, I've missed, uh, I've missed uh, seeing you all uh, collectively, uh, even though I have spent a, uh, a fair amount of time. Uh, you two goobers are right here. You guys know who you are. Uh, <laughs> this last week at Origins, it's been a great time. And uh, yeah, uh, I played Die Lion for you today, and then uh, on Tuesdays, uh, I play Shadowrun with uh, the lovely Derek over here, and uh, we get into some some uh, some cyberpunk fan and fantasy shenanigans. I am the lovely Derek, uh, your friendly neighborhood Hufflepuff, um, and yeah. Uh, it's been a long time, uh, and also not long enough. And uh, I enjoy it and hate it here. Um, these are my favorite people. Um, thank you, chat, uh, for just being awesome and giving gifts and hanging out and cracking jokes. It's been, I've missed it. Uh, and soon, yeah, Chris and I will be back uh, with the Robert Loper um, on uh, Tuesdays. So we're looking forward to that too. Uh, I suppose I'm next. Uh, good morning. Happy Saturday. I'm Hal. Uh, I don't know anything about uh, Harry Potter, but I've been reading up on it, and I've decided that uh, everybody likes I already Dauntless. Hate you. Everybody likes Dauntless, but Ariadite is, is the coolest. I hate you! You know that's not right! <laughs> Uh, I, I, played, uh, I played Sleepy <sighs> Johan. Uh, that was actually a lot of fun playing a guy who slept all session, pretty much. So I might have found my patroness. <laughs> I hate you so much, Hi, <laughs> my name is Lawrence. I played. Uh, I played. Oh my god. Black <laughs> Mama the Barbecue. I played. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He played like Loretta Devine. I, I, I played. <laughs> okay, stop it. Stop it, folks. Try to concentrate. Hi, right, I'm Lawrence. This is nice to see you. I'm a Dazzy 101 on Twitch. Uh, I play Malachi. And my favorite school of Harry Potter is Super Saiyan, because that's what I am. I'm a Super Saiyan. <laughs> I will destroy this stream. I will destroy it. I will burn it to the ground. <laughs> and and my favorite my favorite spell is the Kamehameha. So uh, you can find me on What's Up? It's us on Monday with my other friends, Lache, uh, JJ, two names. Uh, and everybody else, you can find me on 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 your other podcast stuff. If you want to call political insight news that I do with my friend Andy Argo, uh, it's called Media Ciphers. You can find us on YouTube, on Facebook, and all your other platforms. I will be periodically streaming, hopefully after uh, after July first, in the second weekend of July, in particular. I will have my desk, my computer, and my setup, and it's going to be hey. so dope and awesome. Like, I actually got my stuff, I got the stuff, the, uh, the, the, uh, the pre-built stuff. he got stuff. the stuff. He got the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm he just looking for a monitor. But other than that, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have, I'm going to actually have a computer and I will be streaming. Mostly League of Legends, because that's why I, why I play. But other than that, you know. It's gonna be League of Legends and Smite and some other stuff with my friends that you should check out on Monday and here on Saturday when I'm with my other friends here. 
Indeed, indeed. <laughs> um, I would also like to thank all of you wonderful folks, our RIM PCs, um, our friends who join us here um, for this Saturday morning shenanigans. Uh, thank you all. Um, thank you to everyone who, um, who subscribed, who followed, who donated channel points and bits. Um, I see y'all out here. Y'all are the real MVPs. Um, you'll always be rim rats to us. Just saying. Yeah. You'll always be rim rats. Um, yeah, Sarah can't tell us what to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is yeah, this is Saturday morning. This so, is our uh, now. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> Look at, hey, look it's, at it's, it's, it's Juneteenth. It's Juneteenth tomorrow. I'm liberated. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. I got family we from Texas. Here <laughs> 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 Yo, um, with I that, <laughs> um, I love y'all. Um, be kind to one with another. Every voice <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. We'll wow. see y'all next time. Wow. <laughs>